Hello and welcome to Keep On Singing, the international educational boot camp for competitive singing. I'm your host, Ryan Hazy, and on this episode, you will see six singers that will perform in the week four challenge. And the theme is Broadway and musicals. They have the option to choose between one of these two genres. It can be either from the stage or from the big screen. Each singer will then receive their scores from this week's challenge. The scores are based on artistry, technique, and performance. Each panel score is out of a possible 100 points. We then add the coaches panel and the industry panel together to give them their weekly total. Ladies and gentlemen, before we meet the singers, let's meet the four coaches for Keep On Singing 2021. First up, we have Team Thompson, the twofer. Sissy and Michael Thompson, both veterans of the competitive singing world, they bring their vocal coaching to new heights and are looking forward to working with these singers each week. Next, we have Team Keisha D, an accomplished artist with her own star on the Palm Springs Walk of Fame. She is honored to coach her singers and help them on their path. Next, we have Team Cowboy, Yeehaw! Brian Scott, a legend in the singing world, has performed all over the globe and on Karaoke Battle USA. His range as a singer is exceptional. He is excited to, nurture, to be nurturing these singers and help them on their steps to becoming entertainers. Last but not least, we have Team Kegel. Michael Kegel has performed on stage for many years in his own showroom in Las Vegas. He has an extensive resume with a musical theater degree and cannot wait to coach his singers on their way to victory. Now that you've met the four coaches for Keep On Singing 2021, it's time to meet the singers.
And we are here with uh, Kristen Hernandez for week number four, uh, the challenge of Broadway and musicals. Now you see me, now you don't. Uh, Ghost, excellent song choice uh, from the musical Ghost. Um, way outside the box, great job. I look forward to hearing what the coaches thought of your performance this week. Let's start things off uh, with uh, Team Cowboy. Kristen, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I am excellent. I got to tell you something. This was, I think, my favorite number of the week from anybody. Oh, that thank you. was amazing. It was brilliant. Your control on this song was flawless. Um, you didn't go over the top on your high end, which made me so, so happy because I know that you guys have been working on that. Mm -hmm. um, your falsetto in this was just pitch perfect. Uh, Everything about this was amazing for me. So thank you for entertaining me. I watched it five times. Oh, wow. All right. You. Yes, you should eat. Hey, uh, I, yeah, I loved how you held your, uh, those notes out. Just uh, perfect. Just beautiful. Great control. Great diction. Uh, beautiful song selection for you. I, 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 I was just blown away. Um, it was one of the high, yeah, I put a highlight performance for me. It was one of the highlights yeah. of watching as I watched it. That when I went back, I watched it again just to make sure I actually heard what I heard. So good. Yeah, five times. I, I got you, man, because it was uh, it was beautiful, sweetheart. Uh, All right. All Thank right, you. Mr. Mr. Simon, I mean, Michael Cagle. Really? Uh, okay, are you ready? Prepare yourself. <laughs> here we go. I told you, here we go. Here we go. Ah. You were incredible. Oh, wow. Absolutely incredible. Love the song choice. Love Ghost. Love the musical. Uh, great, great song choice. Totally fit your voice. Like, it was like, I felt like I was watching a cast album video. It totally. just was that good it was it well was done. haunting it was clean it was clear it was emotional you just set a bar that is absolutely so high and i yeah. really absolutely commend you uh it was a way to do a broadway song it was just absolutely wonderful you elevated yourself to a really high threshold uh it was outstanding you need to be congratulated it was great all right and uh, from your coaches team thompson i'm just so proud of you i i know that we wanted to do another take and there was a few things we were going <laughs> to fix that we were nitpicking over but as i told you when you sent me that take and i'm going to tell you again now thank you so much um, with everything that I've gone through in the last few weeks with losing my mom and just everything, it just really touched my heart. And, and I could tell such a growth in your voice in just such a short time over the last few weeks. And I'll end by saying this, if you don't keep that song in your library, yeah. then something's yes. wrong because that song is your song. That is a perfect number for you. And you executed it so heartfelt and so beautiful. I believed every word you said. That song shows so much vulnerability and so much strength at the mm -hmm. same time. Absolutely. It's absolutely amazing. Flawless. All right. Let's jump into your scores from this week, Kristen. The industry panel gave you 87. The coaches panel gave you 88.5 for a weekly total of 175.5. Amazing job. Congratulations you. to you. Keep up the good work <laughs> and keep on singing. Thank you. Yay, Kristen.
attention, sweet seller. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. Most of the time, she's all of this mixed up and bathed in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Nicole Sider, excellent performance uh, from Team Thompson this week. Uh, the theme was Broadway musicals. Great song choice from the musical Waitress. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and see what the coaches thought of your performance, starting with Keisha D. All right. Well, um, for me, um, it was a really great song, but the, the beginning really moved along quite nicely. But towards the end, uh, I think some of the pitch might have been lost a little bit. Um, I don't I, I it just seemed like the pitch was lost a little bit towards the end. I mean, overall and in general, I still gave you a great score because you I mean, at the end of the day, you have a really nice voice and you move the song along and you embodied the song and that was great but there was just it just kind of got away from me a little bit towards the end all right and uh from team cowboy yeah nicole um i agree uh the pitch was a little bit off but uh i think that this song is in your wheelhouse sure um it captured me in the very beginning and i thought "Ooh, this is going to be sultry and this is going to be nice but it, it did get away from you a little bit. Um, so just keep working on that. Um, the warmth of your voice is so pleasing to my ears. Um, I really want you, if you make it to the semifinals, I want you to find those songs that really capture what the essence is in your voice. And that's the warmth and, and um, just keep doing what you're doing. And um, I, I think your progress throughout this entire thing has been great. So 
excellent job. All right. And uh, we'll now go to uh, Simon. I mean, Michael Cagle. <sighs> okay. Hi. Um, or I think you have a great you. voice and it's, it's on display. There's warmth. There is, you know, there is skill. There's talent there. This was a, not a good song choice for me. I felt like there was no emotional connection to the song at all. It didn't take me anywhere. And a song like this that that deals with so much pain and so much heartbreak, there was none. It was just, it felt really flat to me. It was good vocals as far as what you sound like, but the emotional core and performance and the big notes were just totally, they were, they weren't there. They were lost. Um, I just, I just feel like, yeah, not this for me was not a good, it was not a good song choice for you. And it's sometimes it comes down to song choice. You can be a great singer and not connect with the material or know how to bring it to life. Uh, all right. And team Thompson. Hi, Nicole. I, I absolutely love uh, the warmth in your voice. And I think Sarah Bareilles absolutely is a great artist for you to chase after. Um, I understand what Michael's saying as far as the connection of the song, kind of like the morale of the story. And, and I get all that. Um, but I think starting out, like, like Brian said, you started out great. Uh, it was just so good. And then I think you lost the melody a little bit towards the end. And, you know, you've been honest with me. This is a new journey for you, um, learning to sing. And I think compared to where you started out in week one, you definitely have made some amazing progress. And I'm excited to continue to see that. I want you to continue to dive into her library, Nora Jones. I would even like to hear you maybe go and try some Carpenter, some Karen Carpenter stuff. Yes. And um, I have such a richness in your voice that you would just totally um, do very well at that. But I love you to death. I, I think that you definitely put your all into this this week. And I think there's just some technical things laying your foundation uh, that we need to continue to work on. So you can just continue to improve and continue to explore and learn to love this art that we call singing. Thank you so much for your hard work. Speaking of foundation, uh, let's jump into the industry panel. Uh, oh, I'm... They gave her a score of 76, and the coaches gave you a score of 72.5, Nicole, for a weekly total of 148.5. Excellent job. Congratulations to you. Keep up the good work. Hey, and keep on singing.
They can say, they can say I lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. We can live and we can die and we And we are here with Crystal Kindinger. Welcome back, Crystal, for Broadway Musicals Week. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, I enjoyed your performance uh, for uh, from The Greatest Showman. Excellent choice. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it and see uh, what your uh, coaches thought of your performance this week, starting with the Broadway master himself, Michael Kegel. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, my God, I love this song. I love this song. I love the show, but I love this song. Did you do the soundtrack or pink's version it was pink's version okay um and there's nothing wrong with that trust me there's nothing wrong with that i i really felt like um did you drop the key or, or were you in the original key you i dropped, dropped it. it one one pitch oh, one one half step okay i i'm gonna tell you the honest truth i really love the presentation and i love your voice okay so i just felt like maybe that half step up and forcing you to support yourself maybe 
and since they already doubts it, um, because I felt like the low notes were not really supported well. Um, and I felt as the song opened up, I felt like you got better, but I just almost, it was, it was a toss between keeping it for me, keeping it in that key and supporting the low notes or raising it half a step and making you support the bigger notes. It, it, it felt just, it felt like it was just in the wrong key one way or the other, but it was still really good because your voice is great. Um, so yeah, I, I I'm interested to hear what Sissy has. To All right, say. <laughs> we'll jump over to Team Keisha D. Yeah, gosh, thanks a lot, Kegel. Just take all the words from me. Oh, wow! <laughs> I have to kind of agree with what he was saying. Um, I wasn't sure, but I loved it. Regardless, sweetie, I gave you a high score. I did love it. You did a great job. Oh my God, honey, you always look so stunning. And you, you sing with your, your eyes and your, your emotion and your face and the way you, I mean, we were talking earlier about it's musical theater. I felt that. I felt you give us that song so beautifully. I didn't, I still gave you a great score because you did, it was, it was beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. And uh, Team Cowboy, Brian Scott. Hi, Crystal. Um, I concur with everybody what they're saying. Um, I had to watch this a couple of times to, to really give my critique on it and to figure out what I needed to tell you about it. And what I came up with was um, the notes are all there. They're, they're perfect notes, um, but they're, to me, they're a little static. Like there, there needs to be a little bit more color and more style in what it is you're doing. And um, that's kind of what I came up with. Um, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't in the right key. Maybe a half step up would have been better. I don't know uh, what you guys figured out, but um, that to me is, is what, what I, I, I came out with in, in your video. But uh, again, you look beautiful, the backdrop, everything is stunning. Just uh, focus on maybe a little bit more stylizing with, with what you're doing. All right, and Team Thompson, your coaches? Well, first of all, let me address the key. We tried it several times. She was uh -huh. having a very rough week vocally, uh -huh. not feeling very well, sore throat, uh, in and out oh. of the keys. She's a, a baker, a chef. She's in and out of a freezer all day. Plus, we've had terrible weather here, and her throat was just ragged. And um. on other, when it, I agree that I think it would be a better key for her as long as she continues to learn to support the yes. upper but where she was as far as health wise and vocally, I felt like it was a better choice. We listened to both keys. It was much better vocally for her where she was at, uh, at that time. So Got it. I, yeah. but you're saying that that's where she, was. I agree with, uh, with, uh, Brian, you mem remember Crystal, you and I talked about the brightness, you know, adding some brightness and even the word brightness. So that's just coloring the song and learning right. to, outside of the lines a little bit and um and but compared from week one to now i see the growth and yeah. i just i'm glad that you're feeling better and um i'm excited to see what we begin to work on as we move forward and uh i want to say thank you so much for pushing through last week lots of tea i'm sure yeah <laughs> crystal uh, let's jump right into it crystal your scores from the industry panel are 81 the coaches panel gave you 76.5 for a total of 157.5. Excellent job. Congratulations to you. Keep up the good work and keep on singing. Thank you. I see what's happening here You're face to face with greatness and it's strange You don't even know how to feel It's adorable! It's nice to see that humans never change Open your eyes, let's begin Yes, it's really me, it's Maui Breathe it in I know it's a lot The hair, the bad When you're staring at a demigod So what can I say except you're welcome for the ties, the sun, the sky, 
Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. I'm just an ordinary demiguy. What has two thumbs and pulled up the sky? When you were waddling, yay, hi, this guy. When the nights got cold, the stole your five from down below. You're looking at him, yo, and oh, also alas, so oh, the sun. You're welcome to stretch your days and bring you fun. You're welcome. Also, our harness the breeze. The fill your sails and shake your trees. So what can I say except you're welcome? For the islands I pulled from the sea. There's no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome. I guess it's my way of being me. You're welcome, you're welcome. Well, come to think of it, honestly, I can go on and on. I can explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. I was me, I was messing around. I killed Neil, I buried its guts. Sprout tree, now we got coconuts. What's the lesson? What's the takeaway? Don't mess with my when he's on a breakaway. Tapestry here on my skin. It's a map of my victories I win. Look where I've been. I make everything happen. Look at the mini Maui just tipping and tapping, tapping, tapping. Well, anyway, let me say you're welcome for the wonderful world you know. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. Oh, come to think of it, I gotta go. Hey, it's your day to say you're welcome. Cause I'm gonna need that boat. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. Cause now I can do anything but float. You're welcome, you're welcome. And thank you. And we are here with uh, Team Thompson. Great performance from you this week, Jordan. Absolutely fun and so much energy. Great, great job. Let's go ahead and jump right into what uh, what the coaches thought of your performance, starting with Team Cowboy. Hey, Jordan. Nobody can say anything about your energy, my friend. You are magnetic on that screen, my friend. So I love your commitment. I love your energy. I love, uh, I love this song. Um, I didn't think it was the best for a competition, um, but I loved your dynamics in it. You had a blast, fun, 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 all the way through this. Um, I, I love watching you. You're, you're very, very, like I said, magnetic. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep learning, keep doing those uh, coaching things. And uh, we're gonna see you in the future for sure. All right, Keisha D. All right. Well, I have to say, you know what? Good diction, great energy. You played the part well because this is musical theater. So you brought the you brought the character to life, and, uh, and and you know for that, I, I'm kudos. You did a good job, sweetheart. You know what? You just need to just continue to have the passion to learn this art form. If you continue to want to learn and want to grow with the with what you have you're going to just keep continue to grow and grow. I appreciate that you really do. You can tell you love music and you enjoy what you do. So just keep going and applying what you're learning now. And we'll see you again. Yeah. All right. Team Kegel. Hi. Uh, okay. Um, it was fun. Uh, a lot of great energy, obviously. And, and the camera loves you. It just absolutely loves you. This song though is harder than people think it is. It really is because there's not only singing, there's rhythm changes and you have to be, this is not a simple quote, Disney throwaway song. This is actually penned in rather difficultly. That being said, I felt like it because of the level of difficulty, it, it didn't show you off as well as it could have been. Um, I felt like because of the rhythms and the vocal requirements, it didn't put you in the best light possible, even though you performed it well, as far as character and adorableness, because you are adorable, they need to make a little doll of you and sell it at Walmart because Aww. you're just cute. But I um, it was just a song that was just, All right. I think a little bit more difficult than you thought it might be. And it kind of showed. All right. And uh, Team Thompson. Um, Jordan, I, I love how you attacked this song. Uh, you were instantly on board uh, to give it your best shot. I think that you really uh, did a lot with the character. And 
And I, I definitely see that you are progressing as uh, we move through the competition. So uh, as we continue on, I just want you to keep on uh, giving it everything you've got every single time. All right. Again, congratulations, Jordan. Uh, this week's scores, the industry panel gave you 65. The coaches gave you 67.5 for a weekly total of 132.5. Congratulations to you, sir. Great job. Keep hey, up the good work and keep on singing. I want a doll. I want one of the dolls. <laughs> you can't have one.
And we are here with Tina Lapalena, and welcome back, Tina. So glad to have you with us for Broadway and Musical Week, my favorite genre. And kudos to you. You stepped outside the box. You picked a song that was Disney, but not Frozen. Thank you so much for that. And uh, great. Just you're such a joy to watch. You really are. And uh, truly a delight. I'm so excited to see what the coaches think, starting with uh, Mr. Michael Cagle, the Broadway king himself. Wow. Well, I absolutely love you. Uh, this was so cool. I actually had to watch this one twice because I was really kind of captured by the fact that you obviously did an arrangement that was just stellar but you kept the playfulness of the original, you know, and that's a really hard balance to do uh, to keep the integrity of, of the original song and yet make it your own and, and, and combine those two together. I, I really, I really have to compliment you on that. I thought it was a great song for you. I thought you played it well. It was so enjoyable. It was so out of the box and yet so perfect that I, I, I just, I, I can't find a complaint. Um, you know, obviously there was a couple of times I felt like the enunciation got a little muddy, um, but that's okay. You know, there is, there is a language difference and, but you know what you slayed it. You need to feel great about what you did. I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing next. And uh, congratulations. Great show. All right. Team cowboy. Yeehaw. Tina, um, absolutely a very, very creative song choice this week. Uh, my hat goes off to Sissy and Michael for helping you pick that song. That's completely out of the box and, and so entertaining for all of us. Um, I do agree. The dialect did get a little bit muddy, um, but it it's from week one to now, it's gotten better and better and better. Um, so I completely uh, uh, love the fact that you're working so hard on that. Um, very nice style. It just an overall great, great performance. So I'm thrilled for you this week. All right. And Team Thompson. I just absolutely love you. I, I told my fellow coach. Oh. My apologies. I thought that we were still on TV. And uh, now from Team Keisha D. Great. You are such a powerhouse. I tell you, honey, it was awesome. Beautiful to watch. I had to watch it again. I love it. And I have to say, I kind of, I kind of like the fact that in certain little spots, your accent would, would kind of be there. I like it. So I, I, I understood what you said, even with the accent. So I don't know. I kind of, kind of like that little feel of that, just that little hint of your accent coming out. I think it's kind of beautiful and original and different than what we would normally hear. I don't want you to change that too terribly much. Let it kind of, let it kind of resonate there. That lets us know who you are and what you're all about. And I, I like that. So you just, you're one of my favorites, beautiful job. And you always just look so fabulous, girl, always. All right. And now from your coaches, Sissy and Michael Thompson. This did such an amazing job. I was telling my fellow coaches, you have taught me. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. You, you brought this song in. We switched it up to kind of make it a little bit burlesque and you were down for it. We went back and forth with videos, back and forth, back and forth. And I tell you, I just want to say thank you so much for your work ethic. And thank you so much for trusting us. You truly are just an absolute joy to work with and exactly what this exactly was created for. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well done. All right. Let's jump right into it, Tina. Your scores for this week from the industry panel are 84 and the coaches panel gave you 87 for a weekly total of 171. Awesome job. Congratulations. And keep on singing. Wow. Good you. numbers. Good numbers. Great numbers.
And we are here with the lovely Dawn Hayes. They call her Dawn. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, the brightest star of the morning. There we go. All right. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Broadway and Musical Week. I uh, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed your virtual presentation, the background, the song, everything was beautiful. Uh, very well Thank done. You. And we're going to take things off, uh, jumping into what the coaches thought of your performance, starting with Keisha D. Great. Hi, Hen. Hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Fabulous, well, what, I, what I have written here. Fabulous, uh, it was a great job. Oh, I love the dress. I'll dress was really stunning. You looked great. Um, the hair, fabulous. And I even, okay, so uh, da, da, da. vocals. The vocals were right on, right on. You, you, you. Really, you really just did a great job. I'm just trying to go fast here. Uh, I don't really have any, thing to say besides you go girl I that's what I wrote here so I mean it was great you did a fabulous job and that's not an easy song and that you know it's kind of a one of those you know feisty feisty songs and you delivered I was like okay yeah thank All you right. very much moving over to Brian Scott Don you know you're one of my favorites you are you are the the I don't even think you're a dark horse you are right up there with my all-time favorites um, I gave you one of the highest scores of the week for what you did. Um, amazing uh, video, um, amazing backdrop. You look fantastic. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. One Night oh, Only. Wow. My friend, uh, I don't know if you guys ever remember Star Search. You all remember Star Search? Mm -hmm. Yes. Epic Man. My my dear friend Marigettes did this in the, in the, in the finals Uh one night only and i never thought anybody could do this song justice like she did but you did this week don you blew me out of the water i loved every bit of it you're a star congratulations all Thank right you. and now uh <laughs> let's move over to simon cow i mean uh, michael cagle wow you are just mean um hey well, so are you sometimes i yeah, <laughs> there, there have been times okay i'm going to preface this by saying i gave you one of the highest scores that i gave that i gave out OK, um, I loved your presentation. I absolutely love your voice. Um, I, I think you are. I, I agree with Brian. You are definitely one that's in the forefront. My only concern with it was that it was just on the verge of being too big for you. I like it just there were times that the voice got a little too too thin and and not uh, not supported enough it didn't get there but it almost did so i just want you to be because you are so much in the forefront make mm -hmm. sure that every note that you hit especially the ones that you're counting on your money money notes are open and they're full and and that you're not extending yourself to to an area where there's no room for error does that All make right. sense That's, mm -hmm. you, because That's very it was great nice. It, it was great, perfect delivery uh, presentation, but you were just like right there of it just being. And I was like, this is more of a cautionary thing than necessarily what you presented. Does that make sense? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. And to Team Thompson. I just absolutely am so proud of you. I, I gave you this song and told you who had given it to me and and I'm so glad that Brian was pleased with it um look I'm wearing our signature hairstyle in honor Woo! of you. um just one little critique on the high note when you go mm -hmm. up you did whoa whoa your mouth placement is a little bit um a little bit too horizontal I wanted okay. it a little elongated maybe even let's modify a vowel there because you went whoa and I think a, an ooh would have been prettier there it would have sounded more well-rounded that's just okay. me being your coach and being nitpicky and I'll talk mm -hmm. to you about it about one of my highest scores this week and I couldn't be more proud you looked amazing you looked Absolutely. beautiful Dawn is back on track ladies and gentlemen and I'm so <laughs> Heck excited yes. to all right. Thank you. Don, the industry panel gave you a score of 86. The coaches gave you a score of 88 for a weekly total of 174. Awesome job. Keep up the good work. Wow. On singing. Great uh, numbers. Nice 
what an incredible job from all six of these singers. What, what, what a great team that came together to enhance their skills. Amazing job. I look forward to seeing who makes it to the semifinals. We want to thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Keep On Singing. We will see you next time for the semifinals. And remember, no matter what life throws at you, keep on singing. <laughs>